Hello, savvy investors and finance enthusiasts. Welcome back to the Investing Iguanas channel, where we dive deep into the latest market trends and investment insights. I'm Adi, your guide in the complex world of finance, bringing years of experience and a passion for demystifying investment strategies. Today, we're unpacking a major development that's set to redefine the banking landscape in Southeast Asia, United Overseas Banks, UOB, strategic expansion into Indonesia through the acquisition of Citibank's Indonesian Consumer Division. This move isn't just a headline, it's a game-changing strategy with far-reaching implications. So, why is this significant? And more importantly, what does it mean for investors like you? We're going to explore how this bold step could reshape UOB's future, dive into the potential risks and rewards, and assess what this could mean for UOB's stock performance. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, understanding these dynamics is crucial in making informed decisions. Stay tuned as we break down this complex deal, leverage my expertise to analyze its impact, and provide you with the insights you need to stay ahead in the investment game. Let's get started. United Overseas Bank, UOB, one of the titans in Singapore's banking sector, has successfully sealed the deal on acquiring Citibank NA's consumer banking operations in Indonesia. This move is a part of a broader shuffle in Asia's banking scene, where Citi is streamlining its focus towards institutional businesses, a strategic pivot that started back in 2021. This acquisition isn't just a mere addition to UOB's portfolio. It's a significant leap in bolstering its presence in the Indonesian market. It's a strategic expansion that complements UOB's already robust footprint in Southeast Asia, which includes earlier takeovers in Malaysia, Thailand, and Vietnam. This series of acquisitions highlights the emerging trend of Asian regional banks like UOB stepping up their game, filling the void left by global giants like Citibank. From Citibank's standpoint, the divestment adds a $1.1 billion regulatory capital benefit to its coffers. It's a calculated retreat, part of Citibank's plan to exit 14 markets globally, focusing more on institutional clients. The sale of its Indonesian consumer unit, closely following the divestment of its retail wealth business in China to HSBC, underscores Citibank's commitment to its strategic overhaul. For UOB, this acquisition could be a game-changer. Known for its consistent dividend payments over 32 years, UOB has cemented its reputation as a reliable player for investors seeking stable returns. The timing seems opportune as well, with the bank trading near its 52-week low, potentially a lucrative entry point for investors. On the financial metrics front, UOB's journey is noteworthy. As of Q3 2023, the bank has a market capitalization of 34.1 billion US dollars and an attractive price to earnings PE ratio of 8.39. Its revenue growth at an impressive 27.1% is a testament to its robust performance. In contrast, Citibank, despite its larger market cap of 86.81 billion US dollars and a slightly more favorable PE ratio of 7.09, shows a more modest revenue growth of 2.33%. This could be an indicator of the bank's shifting gears towards a more streamlined operation, focusing on areas with higher profitability potential. In the grand scheme of things, this acquisition could potentially be a win-win for both UOB and Citibank. UOB gets to expand its consumer banking footprint in a high-potential market like Indonesia, while Citibank can channel its resources into sectors where it sees more strategic value. For investors and market watchers in Singapore, this move brings a mix of opportunities and insights into the evolving dynamics of Asian banking. Analyzing United Overseas Bank's UOB acquisition of Citibank's Indonesian Consumer Division from an investment analyst's perspective sheds light on several critical factors that could influence UOB's stock performance. Strategic Expansion UOB's move to acquire Citibank's Indonesian unit represents a significant strategic expansion into a market with high growth potential. Indonesia, with its large population and growing middle class, offers a fertile ground for consumer banking services. By tapping into this market, UOB is not just increasing its geographical footprint, but also diversifying its revenue streams. 
This expansion is likely to be viewed positively by investors as it signals UOB's proactive approach in seeking growth opportunities beyond the relatively saturated Singaporean market. Synergy and efficiency gains, integrating Citibank's Indonesian operations could yield significant synergies for UOB. This includes potential cost savings through operational efficiencies and the ability to cross-sell products to a broader customer base. The successful integration of Citibank's technology and innovative banking solutions could also enhance UOB's competitive edge in digital banking, a critical factor in today's tech-driven financial world. Impact on financial performance In the short term, the acquisition costs and the investments needed for integration may put pressure on UOB's financials, potentially impacting its stock price. However, in the medium to long term, the expansion into Indonesia is expected to contribute positively to UOB's revenue and profit growth. As these benefits materialize, they are likely to be reflected in a positive stock price movement. Risk factors, it's crucial to consider the risks involved in such a cross-border acquisition. The integration process can be complex, involving cultural, regulatory, and operational challenges. How effectively UOB manages these integration risks will be a critical factor in the success of this venture. Furthermore, the economic and political stability of Indonesia, being a key market post-acquisition, now plays a more significant role in UOB's overall risk profile. Market sentiment and stock performance, the initial market reaction to the acquisition may be mixed as investors weigh the potential benefits against the costs and risks. However, UOB's strong track record of maintaining dividend payments and its conservative approach to expansion might reassure investors. If UOB demonstrates progress in integration and shows signs of achieving the expected synergies, it could lead to increased investor confidence and a positive impact on its stock price. In summary, UOB's acquisition of Citibank's Indonesian Consumer Division is a bold move that aligns with its long-term growth strategy. While it comes with its set of challenges, the potential for revenue growth and market expansion in a promising economy like Indonesia could outweigh these risks. Investors will likely keep a close eye on UOB's ability to seamlessly integrate the new operations and capitalize on the opportunities this acquisition presents. As these factors play out, they will be key determinants of UOB's stock performance in the coming quarters. And there you have it, folks. We've thoroughly explored UOB's groundbreaking expansion into Indonesia with the acquisition of Citibank's consumer division. It's clear that this move is more than just a transaction. It's a strategic step that could significantly shape UOB's future and the banking sector in Southeast Asia. As we discussed, while there are challenges and risks associated with this expansion, the potential for growth and market penetration in the vibrant Indonesian economy presents exciting opportunities for UOB. For investors, this means keeping a close eye on UOB's integration progress and market performance in the coming months will be key. Remember, in the world of investing, knowledge is power. Stay informed, assess risks, and look for opportunities that align with your investment goals. If you found this analysis helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to The Investing Iguana for more insightful investment content. Your support helps us grow and bring more valuable content your way. Have thoughts or questions about UOB's move? Drop them in the comments section below. I'd love to hear your take on this. Until next time, keep analyzing, stay invested, and see you soon on The Investing Iguana for more investment insights. Happy investing, everyone!